hey guys what's up welcome to another video so in this video i'm going to be talking about fair value gaps right so i've been looking at a lot of misinformation about fair value gaps so of course when you're looking at it through hindsight uh it works right because you show every damn fair value gap that you see and some work some don't right but now here's the thing how do you actually define a fair value gap so as we all know right as we all know a fair value gap is essentially a gap in price, right? That price has to fill. And what else do we all know? We know that the market, right? One of the functions of price is to what? Rebalance and imbalance. Okay. One of the functions of price is to rebalance and imbalance. So having said that, what should a correct fair value gap actually look like? Okay. A correct fair value gap, right? Must have an opposing candle on either side, at least one opposing candle on either side. Okay, at least one opposing candle on either side. So how would that look like? It looks like this, right? And I'll, and I'll tell you why in just a bit. So you see this here? See, this, this is a bullish fair value gap. A down close, so an opposing candle on at least one side. So this here, or rather this gap, is a fair value gap. When price trades through it, it becomes an inverse gap. Okay, when price trades through it, it becomes an inverse gap. Then you can see another one right here. See here. Fair value gap. Up close on the other side. Here's the down close. So at least there's one different candle on one side. Okay. Now what about this here? This one. Is this a fair value gap? No, it's not. This is a liquidity void. Okay, price is going to trade through it. All right. So if you just look at a few more examples, I promise this video is going to be quite short, right? So if you look at a few examples, you can see plenty of examples of fair value gaps, right? So if you look at today's buy section, I believe it's from it's actually from here. But if you look at this entire buy side of the curve and the sell side of the curve, right? If you look at every single instance in which there was a fair value gap mitigation, if you look at every single instance in which there was a fair value gap mitigation, you can see there's a really small gap here, very small one, okay? Like ICT says, the bodies tell the story, the wicks do the damage, <laughs> okay? It goes up, and what happens over here? See this? This down close and up close, so there's at least one different candle on the other side. It's a fair value gap, okay? There's that, over here, there's a down close and a down close, so this is also fair value gap. You see how it provides support and then breaks through it because of the direction of the day. Okay. As we are shifting lower, can you see how here's a down close and an up close, right? What's that? It's a fair value gap. This price use it? No, it must be some high time frame thing. Okay. Here. Up close, down close, down close. What's that? A fair value gap. This price use it? Yes, ever so slightly. It's like an it's I I O F E D. Yeah. Okay. What about this? Here. This is an order block, but if you look at the fair value gap, it's this. See, up close, down close, down close. So this way you can really filter your fair value gaps. Okay, I promise you, this way you can really filter your fair value gaps. And um, in 2020, or was it 2021? I can't remember. I did an account flip from $100 to uh, almost $10,000 just using a fair value gap, just using fair value gaps. Okay, it's really powerful. All right. So since then, I'm now using Malaysian SNR, I'm using my own fractal time theory that predicts bias and all that good stuff. But just to let you know the power of fair value gaps, that is it, okay? You need to have at least one different candle on the other side. So basically the three, the, 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 basically the three pattern, the, the three candle pattern for the fair value gap, okay? One, one, one side must have an opposing candle, all right? Okay, now what is not a fair value gap? I'll tell you what it is, right? Candles that don't have an opposing candle on either side or a fair value gap that does not have or a gap that does not have an opposing candle on the other side is a liquidity void, okay? A liquidity void is meant to be filled, not to be reversed from, all right? Then you might say, Sean, now you said something interesting, yeah? Then what's this? I mean, this is a liquidity void, liquidity void, Liquidity void. Why is price going up from here? You said, you said it's not supposed to be reversed from. It's only supposed to be filled. Ah, that is a concept I only keep for my private students. Okay. So 
this is the main usage of a fair value gap. Yeah, other stuff is covered in my private mentorship, right? And of course, now the general rule for fair value gaps is that a good bullish fair value gap will do what? Will be inside of equilibrium or in discount. A good bearish fair value gap will be inside premium or in equilibrium of the current dealing range. All right. So I hope you guys found this insightful. It was a quick video. I hope you found it insightful. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok, my uh, business account on TikTok, where I break down all my trades. Uh, like, you know, it's, it's like a big, quick, a little bit of a quick breakdown of all my trades and also um, planning on doing some live calls on, the, on it as well. And go follow me on Instagram as well as my business account on Instagram. I post all my executions. It's basically like a documentation as proof. And also my telegram to stay to keep yourself updated with all of the offers and all of the news and all of the webinar announcements that I have for you guys, as well as my buy, as well as my bi-weekly what bias predictions that I'm gonna give you guys. Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. The bias predictor, as you all know, there's a 50% off. You guys can go and get that. It literally has an 80% plus success rate. You will never it'll you'll literally never go wrong with it because today. Uh, we predicted this entire thing. We predicted this entire cell over here. And then we also predicted a bullish NY session. So the bullish NY session actually got a bit delayed. So I took one loss here and another loss over here. And I'm now in longs right here. I'm expecting the bullishness to prevail until the PM session. Okay. Although there will not be a PM session due to the US bank holiday, I'm still expecting price to at least go a bit higher and for me to close the positions before the end of the day. All right, guys. So with that said, TikTok they describe in, in the description down below. Instagram also in the description down below and as well as my public Telegram chat. All right. So with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Good luck and good trading. Bye-bye.